What's up guys? Welcome back to the mountaintop. I'm Cody and today we're going to be taking this 223 wild and we are going to be shooting it point blank at these coconuts. And I know we've been doing a lot of these videos lately, but I have had a freaking blast. It has been so much fun. And if you haven't already, check out the 300 blackout video we did last. I touched base a little bit on it in that video. This is the lower and the magazine, same thing from that 300 blackout. All you have to do is pull these two pins out, throw your 223 upper on, and you're ready to go. So with that being said, we are going to throw a few rounds in this thing. We're going to put it on the steel down there, see how it's shooting, and then we are going to put it right up against these coconuts, and we're going to see what happens. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss it. Before we get to shooting, if you're still wondering what a 223 Wild is, it's you're not going to find a box of 223 Wild. It's not a bullet that they make. It's just the barrel. And the barrel on the 223 Wild is designed to shoot a 223 and a 556 five, about as well. So if you look at this, this bullet right here is a 223. This one's a 556, five, and they're a little bit different. So a 223 cannot shoot a 556. Five, it's a little bit more powerful. It's a little bit you know, a little bit more oomph behind it and, and a 223 just can't handle it. Your 556 five, can shoot a 223, but it's not gonna shoot it that well. So your 223 wild is gonna shoot both of these bullets about as well. So I'm gonna load up. You ready? Yeah. Oh, gotta take the safety off. All right, like I said, that first one was a 223, and then the last three were 556s. Five, five, there wasn't much of a difference. We got them all on steel, so 223 Wild shoots them both pretty darn well. So we're gonna throw a few more in this thing, and then let's see what happens to these coconuts. So in the last video, we figured out that the hollow points did incredibly well against the pineapples, but these are coconuts, and they're a lot harder. So. We're gonna try a hollow point on the first one, and if it only explodes the first coconut, then we'll try a full metal jacket or something. But we're gonna put a freaking hollow point in this thing first, and we're gonna see what happens. So, let's do it. Right. You ready? Yeah. Oh. oh, well, I think that was pretty effective. Let's see if we can find those coconuts. All right, hold on. High quality, fresh coconut chunk. My back is soaked, man. All right, here's one coconut. This one is cracked pretty well. It's leaking some coconut water out of it. This one, it's still pretty darn good. That one's still intact. So we've got two that made it. Oh, here's one right here. This one made it too, without a freaking scratch. This one must have just been pushed off the table. We only recovered three coconuts. I'm pretty sure the first two got vaporized. We found very small chunks, nothing else. So we took the one that was cracked, we put it in the front. The other two that were untouched are in the back. We put another hollow point in this thing because it did so well. So let's put it on it a second time and let's see what happens. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we go, the results we were hoping for. Like the title of the video said, we weren't lying. This is the easiest way to crack a coconut. This is all we could find, one big chunk. The rest of these things were spread out, they were pulverized. This thing is so dirty. I hope you had as much fun as we did today, and I hope that you'll join us next time. If you haven't already, drop a like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and we'll see you next time.